Today's video is going to be a follow up on the video where I set up Google Mail, Google Photos, Google Drive, Google Tasks and Google other stuff. There'll be a link up there to that video and today we're going to cover Google Drive and Google Mail, kind of a use case for them. So let's roll the credits. So I'm going to cover Google Drive to start off with and uh, where you'll see it. So the main place you'll see it is in settings, uh, system, backups, and if you scroll down, go into settings and history, we have a new location, Google Drive. It's a case of switching it on, and if we click on the cogwheel, it'll keep the encryption um, on. Uh, I'm going to turn it off for Google Drive. Um, but while we're in here, have I got a copy of these, just in case? Um, it follows the same um, setup as others, so um, it's going to back up um, every night for me. Uh, and that's Google Drive. So let's go on to Google Mail. Okay, let's do uh, a Google Mail use case. So you go into Settings. We're going to use Automations and Scenes. And I'm going to create an automation, create a new automation, and we add an action. Now, adding the um, Google integration gives this new notify option, which is just there. Send a notification with wrong words uh, on porpoise gmail.com. So that's the one we want to use. Let's is the message i'm going to give it a title the subject of the message the target is who is going to send it to wrong words on purpose at gmail.com and the data we need to say from colon we'll fix that I think I've just seen it and then I'm going to be lazy and copy this and paste it in there click save mail well, let's call it one mail and it at the top of the list save if I then go and actions we then go and look at mail It'll take 20 seconds to get in here there it is from me, the subject of the message is the subject of the message. The message itself is this is a message and it's from me. OK, so we've got the basics here. So I'm going to turn it into a script. Now, hopefully you've seen my other videos. Uh, there'll be this one that does a notification when um, you want something to happen. So it notifies on the client and there is this one that talks to you using Amazon Alexa. And again, what we're going to do here is we're going to do very much a similar thing, but send an email message. So I'm just going to edit in YAML, pick all of this up, because we might use it again. And as I've said, I'm very lazy. So, scripts. Create a new script. Create a new script. 
add an action and the action is going to be notify that one there then don't want to type all this stuff in so we'll say edit in yaml we'll highlight all of this and paste some more in i'm going to get rid of metadata because we don't need it because there's nothing there okay so we've got all that in there so we'll press save script mail me let's call it one mail me okay so we've got that action what we need to do is we need to pass across to it the parameters that we want so what the subject is what the message is and who it's going to be sent to although you can change the from address if you send from the wrong address it'll probably get marked as spam by the user so we need to go into here and say add fields so the fields we want to add there was three the first one let's do message text the message we want to send the selector is text and this could be multiple lines the default is going to be message text text okay then we'll make it required and then we'll add a second field and that's going to be message underscore subject subject of the message it's going to be text it's not going to be multiples and it's not going to be multiple lines so we'll put in here message subject although i'm making it um required so it should always ask for it just in case something gets through if you ever get a message that says message subject as the subject you kind of know so the last one is going to be who do who the mail is do select is going to be text the default i will make wrong words on porpoise at gmail.com so kind of going to the right one it needs to be required click save script okay so we've got the, the fields in we just need to edit this in yaml now if you don't the minute you try and put these commands in it'll go wrong so to put the fields in you do two squarely brackets and i called it message text okay just to be safe i'm going to add quotes around the outside of it and that means just kind of enclose it so this is going to be message subject two squiggly brackets close quotes the target is going to be oh it's the quote who to okay i always want it from uh wrong words and porpoise at gmail so we leave that the same click save i then go up the top here and say run script so message text i'm just going to put a one on there a one on there and click run okay if we then go back here oops it can take 20 seconds to come through and it's always when i go have i gone back and clicked it here we go right let's go i'm gonna get two now you watch 
two. Message text one, subject one, to the right person. So we've kind of done the, the script for that. So the other thing I'll point out while you're here, the message text can have HTML in it. So that's the HTML for bold, uh, a B, and this is the HTML for switching bold off. So if I go run again, and you can use I for italic, uh, you can put any HTML in there that you kind of want. Uh, if you get horrendously complicated, the client might not like it or the Gmail might not like it in, in this case. Um, and that works in the message. So I press one on that. I'm going to get more messages. Okay, I'll close that. We'll go up here. And there's my other message. Oh, there we go. It's two more. Look, text is in bold. Okay, so we've got kind of messages. I'm going to answer that one as well, just so I can say I've got new messages. So the next thing to do is this is now a script. So what we can do is if I go into settings and automations and scenes and say create a new automation, create a new automation, and I'm going to add a trigger. And somewhere over here I've got a door sensor. So device and the device is going to be door sensor. When the door is uh, opened, I'm then going to do a script. And the script I'm going to do is one mail me. And it's got the information in here. So, door opened. Who's it going to be to there? And we'll do something clever with this one. I said you can add any HTML. So, we're going to say the door is opened. Close it soon to protect the environment. And then we're going to put some HTML. Image source equals quote. The thing that I just went to get. Close that. Click save. one dash door open save okay there's one dash door open that's never been run so if i go over here and this is my door sensor so if i open the door you can see the the door open got there i've also got another do a door alert from my test so i think we're going to get a couple of these Okay, this is mine because remember I set the door opened, yeah, and we've got the door is opened, close here soon to protect the environment, and there's my picture of a dolphin as the image that I gave. Okay, so we've done um, uh, this notification, and uh, like I said, uh, it's part of a kind of three notification so you can either send a uh, an email like this you can make an alert happen which i think is still running yeah it is look door has been opened um or you can make alexa talk so i'll add links to that up above again um that's it for today um hopefully that's useful if you could like and subscribe that would be great and i'll see you on the next one Unless you want to watch this video or this video. See you on the next one.